is Sherry from ProjectorSewing.com. I'm going to be showing you how to do a small bust adjustment both on a bodice with a dart and on a bodice without a dart such as a knit top. I am using first on this first one the Duchess Jacket by Ellie and Mac. Please make sure to read the written tutorial that goes along with this or to look at uh, the designers and how your pattern is drafted to see if you do need a small bust adjustment. Let's go ahead and get started with the pattern that I have. I've just taken the pattern over here, I've copied it over to a new page, um, and I've drawn in a bust apex point. You would probably need to transfer this over from your own body and figure that out um, on there, but for purposes today, I've gone ahead and drawn one in. And then you want to make sure you have some of your context toolbars. If you're missing anything, make sure you come over to the view. I like to have that grid on, and you probably can't see it very well on the video here. Um, but it's very light. There's a grid on there. It makes it easier when you're doing measurements. Um, I like to have that on. Also make sure you're in the right units. You can right click at the top left corner and make sure you're choosing the units that you're working in. I'm working on inches. And then take that bodice. I'm going to select it and I'm also going to select the bust dart there. And I'm going to duplicate it. Control J. So we have a duplicated piece and I want to go ahead and fill it. And I'm going to go ahead and do a that's a little bit bright here. Let's do about yeah, that yellow today. And then we're ready to start making some of our cuts for our adjustment. I do like to use the guides to keep me having a straight line. I'm going to put that right in the center of the bust point just to help me with some of my cuts today. Then I'm going to use the knife tool. Make sure you select the piece that you are going to be cutting. And I'm going to come right up, hold shift to draw a straight line right through that bust apex. And again, I'm going to go straight through it. Control or shift alt will help you to cut a straight line there. Okay. And let's go ahead and take a look at that. That's looking pretty good. Let's move some of these guidelines out of the way for now. And that's the cut we're going to start with first. And then we need, I'm going to take away a half an inch, with it, which would be equal to a whole cup size for sewing. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a rectangle that is a half inch just to help me measure. And we could use the guidelines um, on things on there. It's kind of personal preference how you want to measure. This is one way that you can do it. It's definitely not the only way. And you can also add assets that are rulers and things um, on there. But I'm going to go ahead and do a half inch right in there. And then I'm going to bring a guideline that shows me that half inch all the way down. Okay. Now I'm going to take the left piece that I've just cut out and we're going to rotate it. We want to use that transform origin tool. If you don't see this tool ball there, toolbar there, make sure you go ahead and um, turn on the show toolbar. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. For this pattern, the seam allowance was a quarter of an inch. And so I'm going to make it about a quarter of an inch there again I can draw a box to measure to get it more accurately if I need to and then I'm going to rotate this piece up until it meets the line that I just did there okay and it's meeting right there that's exactly what I want okay I'm going to be making another cut so let's go ahead and get our pen tool here again coming through the apex here that we just had. Release. Now that bottom piece is selected. I'm going to put my transform origin all the way up the apex here where it was and rotate that piece until it lines with that guideline that's at half an inch. So I just removed 
a half an inch here. Okay, now we can see towards the bottom that it's shorter on one side. It did take out that height. So we need to remove the height from the right side as well. Select that piece, shift, use the move tool to select the bottom piece, hold shift so it moves straight up. And now we can see we've removed that extra half inch in there. It looks like there's only there's only part of a a dart left here in there. You can kind of see where the dart legs actually it looks like it's completely removed it. So let me show you. This was the end of a dart leg. Oops. Control Z, move that that right here and here. So it actually looks like it's completely removed that dart. If it did not completely remove the dart, you would want to use those dart legs to draw a dart back in. You may want to just make a a, a muslin of it and, and try it on and see if you need the dart or where you think the dart might need to be. That's probably the best option to do. But let's go ahead and this one, it removed the dart completely. So now I'm just going to use my node tool to take that original piece and align it up with my new lines here. And this handle that's connected to that node is going to control my curve. So I'm just going to line it up and bring my other nodes down. Again, draw your dart if it still has a dart. Often it will remove the dart completely. Now, if you like the width at the waist, you need to keep the width at the waist. Keep the width at the waist. And I'll show you how to kind of curve that up so it's not so sharp. But let's go ahead and get this other side up as well. And since we did remove length from this, you want to true it up to the back bodice piece as well. So make sure you do that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and get this node tool down here. And I'm actually going to convert it to a smooth node so I can get a nice smooth curve. You see how it's going to make it that kind of a curve, kind of mimicking what you would do with a, a French curve to kind of get that in there. Uh, let's look and see how that's looking. I think it's going to look pretty good. Let's go ahead. I'm just going to duplicate it and move it over here. So there is my final piece. I have done a small bust adjustment. I've removed it. I don't need a dart in this one, but I would always try it on. Uh, try a muslin. Check it out. Um, if you want to check also that the arm size shouldn't have changed since we moved it at the seam allowance um, but you can always measure it one way to do that is to use your node tools and you can break the curve right at the nodes at the tops of the curve then use the area tool okay if you see a ruler there then just make sure you click on the area tool kind of hover over it and then click on that line and it's going to tell you the exact length of the line. You can compare that to the original pattern um, and adjust as needed there, but that's a quick way to check the measurement of that. So there was a small bust adjustment using a dart. This did completely remove the dart. You will need to also true up the back bodice piece as well. Let me go ahead and we're going to go over how to do it on a knit garment as well, which is pretty much the same way, but let's go ahead and take a look at that. I've gone ahead and opened up a knit pattern. Uh, this is actually uh, the classic sweatshirt pattern. And what we're going to go ahead and look at is doing a small bust adjustment. And it's very similar to what we've just done but you don't have to worry about any darts. But again, I'm gonna go ahead and pull over those guides just so I can get right in the middle of my bust apex. And it was not on the pattern, I just put one there where it might be to help us today. And we're gonna go ahead and take that knife tool, shift, oh, I didn't select the shape. Make sure you select the shape, otherwise it will not be able to cut. And I didn't actually duplicate this 
piece either. So actually I do want to duplicate control J and forgetting all my steps. And I'm going to go ahead and fill it as well with that yellow. Now we can go ahead and we'll cut that shape. Shift all the way through the bust apex and shift. Let's uh, alt remember we'll let you kind of do it at any angle there. Okay, let's start with that. And now I want to put in my guidelines where I'm going to be taking out about half an inch. Okay, you can use the box, you can eyeball it, you can look, that's why we have those grids, at, or we could look here. Okay, that's close to a half inch. Remember, you can draw a rectangle as well um, to keep that in there. And those guidelines will stay there as we rotate, so you can use them. Let's go ahead and get the origin. And let's move it up right to, I'm going to assume on this one, I didn't look up what the seam allowance is, but let's say the seam allowance is about there. This is where I'm going to rotate from. And let's rotate. Let me zoom in. Looks like I went a little bit past it on there. There, that looks great right there. Now we're ready to make the next cut. And we're going to go straight through that apex. Through the side here. And we're going to bring it up. The we'll move tool right on the apex that we've already moved. Great. And line up that line there. Good. Now we're going to shorten it. Well, that wasn't a very straight line because I didn't push shift. But in this case, it's that's just fine. Shift and go straight up. Now we can true the original pattern up using the node tool. Again, if you want to keep that width in there, you can. That arm side looks like it's still right on. And there it looks like I need to go over just a little bit on that. But there we have we can go ahead and select it, the whole piece, and let's look at it. We have done a small bust adjustment on that piece. Set. See, it looks a little bit different than our original, just has that um, half inch removed for that bust in there, done the exact same way. Let me know if you have any questions. And let's try to fill it and let's see what happens. Okay, there. If it comes like this, this means your curve is not closed correctly when you're doing it. And we're going to need to close our curve. So I'm just going to push Control Z. I'm going to undo it. And there's lots of extra lines in here. Let's go ahead and get our node tool. And you can see they're all they're all separate. Okay, they're not joined. And um, is one of the issues that we're having here. So all right, let's go ahead and select all of these. Press Shift and select them all. There might be a faster way of doing that. And let's go ahead and let's join the curves, okay? And it should have everything joined um, in there. Let's see if it will work. I'm thinking we still have a gap here that we'll have to fix. But let's go ahead and see if we can fill it now. And it worked. Okay, so that's what you need to do. If those things are not working to let you, letting you fill it, sometimes it's just easier to use the pen tool and just trace the outline of the bodice. Um, that's one way to just get you going.